Hi guys, welcome to your first mini project of unit one. In this project, you guys are going to be making a stoplight, and I'm about to show you two examples, both of students I had last year who are currently juniors in AP Computer Science. They did like exceeding amazing above and beyond options, but it's they're both going to showcase how this project should work. So you're going to make a stoplight in P5. Um, that part, pretty straightforward and direct. You're going to use shapes to do it. You're going to make sure the shapes are nicely colored. But here's the tricky part. When your mouse, if your mouse, is on the top third of your screen, your first light is going to turn red, and the other two lights are going to stay black. If your mouse is in the middle third of your screen, the second light is going to turn yellow, and the other two lights are going to go black. And then if your light, if your mouse is at the bottom, then the top two lights will go black and the last light will go green. Now, there's a bunch of exceeding level things that this student did. Um, they coded this little walk sign in the corner, which you do not need to do, but you can see it says walk when it's green, it flashes at yellow, and it's black when it's red. Um, that's an addition. You are mostly just worried about getting these colors to swap for now, and then you can add on to it later. This student also included a stroke weight that changed, and you can, I don't know, it might be hard to tell in my video, but the stroke weight is a slightly different color than everything else. Um, not totally necessary in this moment, but like worthwhile to think about. Um, this is another student's example. You can see that she went like a different way with how to design her stoplight. This can be as simple or as basic as you want, but hers works the same way. When I'm in, actually, she coded it, so I have to be directly over... I have to be somewhere in like a rectangular space. So it goes red, yellow, green. She didn't do the walk sign, but it does the same thing. So third, third, third. Um, what I'm gonna recommend for this is you spend a little bit of time planning. So think about what are the shapes that are gonna be on your screen all the time, and then what is changing? Anything that's going to change is going to need a variable and probably its own variable. So I would say like this green light has a variable, this has a variable and this has a variable that are all changing based on conditions. You also might want to think about your canvas size and dimensions. Because they knew they were working in thirds, both of these students adjusted their canvas size so it was kind of long and skinnier. Um, they also made sure that in the length it was something divisible by three, like 600, so that it would be really easy for them to calculate. Um, I would make sure you have your text appearing in the corner. If you don't know how to do that, look back at a past project that shows text and just steal that line of code. Um, you'll want to use that to figure out what range you are looking in for being in the top third, the middle third, and the bottom third. Um, you're going to have most of this week to work on this project. I would recommend you spend one day just getting your traffic light drawn and the next day working on the logic and getting all your variables to run correctly. Remember, we should always start really simple, and if you are interested in trying something that's more of an exceeding option, you're welcome to reach out to me, and I am more than happy to help you get there. Good luck, guys. Bye.